I am Joe Elliott and I'm in the basement of a big building in London, Team Rock. Back with the further adventures of the Down and Out, which is released April the 22nd, and it's a collection of mostly Mott the Hoople songs, but two songs by the spin-off of Mott the Hoople, which was just called Mott. This time we've al allowed ourselves to go into the Hoople back catalogue because we're not opening for Hoople anymore, so we could go in and dig up things like Marionette, uh, Wizkid, One of the Boys, um, Rock and Roll Queen, which is the first song on the radio, uh, Crash Street Kids, uh, Violence, a favourite of mine. And um, it's, it, it's deep tracks, very, very deep tracks, even going back as far as the Brain Capers album as well as the first album. And uh, the, the, the epic song called The Journey, which is almost uh, 10 minutes long. To me, all I'm trying to do is, I'm not trying to better the songs, I'm just giving them a, a coat of paint putting them out there for people from my generation to hear and if anybody that's a huge Mott the Hoople fan that's the same age as me gets to know about this they can at least go well fair play you know he's keeping the music alive so I'll, I'll check it out and that's all you can ever really hope for but it's not a daunting task for me it's a it's an absolute pleasure it's a challenge and songs like Marionette which is an incredible piece of music and very complex was probably the most challenging thing on the record but you get to blow off steam with songs like One of the Boys and Rock and Roll Queen where you just let rip and there's such variation in their back catalogue that it's, it's, a, it's a pretty easy thing to do. I didn't have to run it past them, it was just a case of like they knew that you know they, they'd heard the first record so they knew I wasn't going to really screw it up. They were just intrigued as they would be, as I would be in a few years time if some kid comes along and he goes I've done this cover album of Leopard songs or something and he wanted me to hear it, out of, just out of curiosity and, and just payback and paying it forward if you like for me doing that with Martin and then somebody else doing it with me if that ever happened, you would be intrigued. Absolutely wanting to play this live. We've not done that many gigs. We've done um, a couple of clubs. Uh, we played the basement of a pub in uh, Covent Garden when I launched the Down and Outs Pier. Um, we did the High Voltage Festival in 2010 and we toured with Paul Rogers uh, 10 shows around, around the UK in 2011, which was about a good year or so after the, uh, the first album came out. So I'm not overly concerned that I'm not able to tour this straight away because both the Choir Boys and Def Leppard are quite busy in 2014 so it's going to be towards the end of this year or even 2015 before they get a chance to play it live but some of these songs we have actually did play Rock and Roll Queen, Wizkid and one of the boys on the Paul Rogers tour so some of these songs have actually been um, played in front of an audience which is why we were so keen to put them on the record because they worked so well in a live environment. Yeah. 